that should that should do it. So, hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez of iCritic.net and shareholder in Helios and Matheson. So obviously this is a uh, you know we're gonna do a live reading of some of the reports that came out of Helios and Matheson's earnings today. Um, big so big shock. They're not very good. Um, yeah, this company probably has like a to live. No, I'm not going to actually cancel the stock that I own. I mean, it's only worth $12 anyway. And you know what? When you've got a $10 chip left when you're gambling, eh, you're going to bet it. You're not going to go home with it. So at least I'm not anyway. So anyway, we will give a moment to let people come in and then we will get started. I hope this is fairly clear. I see it's kind of jilting a little bit. How you doing? So, um, everything's going fine. I've got two live streams to do tonight. This one and one of my other channels. So, uh, that's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be a long night. Um, I haven't been feeling good most of the day, but I think I'm feeling good enough to do this. So, all right. So we've got seven people and ideally like at least 10 before I, eight, mm, nine, okay, yeah. I'm going to assume that we're going to get to the 10. So, um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Helios and Matheson earnings report today, which is very, very bleak, to be perfectly frank. And, uh, yeah, just to let people know, I am um, definitely not under any illusion that I will survive. Like I said, the only reason I'm not selling the stock is because it's not worth anything at the moment anyway. So, I mean, if it's not worth anything now, you might as well hold on to it and see see if it becomes worth something. But it looks pretty unlikely that that's going to happen. Um, Ted Fartsworth was quoted as saying, During this transitional period for Helios and MoviePass, we have been focused on reducing our burn rate and striving to improve our business model. And we are very encouraged by our quarter third financial results. Which is interesting that he says that because I don't see a whole lot here to be happy about. I mean, there was one thing that could be considered good news, but I don't know if it actually outweighs the bad news. So, um, here's some of the highlights for the third quarter that ended September 30th. Um, Helios' diluted net loss per share is $0.20 cents per share compared to a loss of $5.79 per share for the same period a year ago. Bottom line, stock sure ain't worth much. Um, actually, it's not worth anything at all. The ATM offering has terminated, and as a result, Helios is no longer using an ATM offering to raise capital and has not used the ATM since August 27, 2018. Interestingly, that's when I... Um, interestingly, that's when the... How should I put it? Um... That's when Mission Impossible did. That's like the first weekend movie pass shut down, and they needed to do that shark loan to get the um, to keep the service up. So that actually explains a lot. Um, as a as of October fourth, two thousand eighteen, the June two thousand eight convertible notes aggregating one hundred sixty four million have been fully extinguished. So no more of that. No more of that. Um, Ironically, the ATM offering kind of coming to an end could be a good thing. It means they're not taking on any more debt, but then it also makes it difficult for them to keep the service running. And the convertible notes has been extinguished. So basically what that means is they have to figure out a way to make money at this point, which um, I'm not fully convinced they know how, how to do. So subscription marketing and promotional services and films operating segment, collectively the movie pass segment, Highlights the third quarter ended September 30th, including the following. Movie Pass segment revenue increased 7.2 million, 9.8% from 73.3 million to 80.5 million in the quarter ended September 30th, 2018, as compared to the prior quarter ended June 30th, 2018. The increase is primarily driven by Movie Pass, which generated 79.9 million during the same quarter ending. September 30th, 2018, as compared to 72.8 million during the prior quarter, ended June 30th, 2018, an increase of 7.1 million or 9.8%. Okay. Um, 
Let's see here. MoviePass segment gross margin improved 76.2 million or 72.8% from a loss of 104.7 million to a loss of 28.5 million. In the quarter ended September 30th, as compared to the prior quarter ended June 30th, driven primarily by MoviePass, whose gross margin improved by 75.5 million or 70.6%. Average monthly usage per subscriber was dramatically to 0.77 movies per month in September 2018 as compared to 2.22 movies per month in April 2018. And I'm seeing a bunch of people bring up Regal. I'm going to just search them real quick. Um, anything actually happen? Um, hmm. So I don't see Regal creating their own subscription service. So I guess that's people just wanting it to happen. Uh, so um, I guess they, they brought in more money. Of course, they could bring in more money considering that not a lot of people can use the card. And that's why a lot of people are canceling. So uh, MoviePass Films and MoviePass Ventures have acquired stakes in the following films. Uh, Monsters and Men, which is a real good movie. Border, which is an interesting movie. Um, <laughs> very interesting movie. I'm still not sure if I like that one. The Row, which I've never heard of. Ten Minutes Gone, which I also haven't heard of. American Animals, which I loved quite a bit. And Gotti, which was pretty garbage, to be perfectly honest. Now then, that's the press release from Movie Pass. That's them with the highlights they are definitely and they are definitely stressing that people are using their membership less again probably because there's not a lot of movies that you can see with it although for the record i used my movie pass card yesterday to see in search of igmar bergman so some people can still use them if they're interested in those types of movies but the sec the sec filing um definitely portrayed some much bleaker information so that information is movie pass parent Helios and Matheson saw its third quarter loss more than triple to 137.2 million from 43.5 million in the same quarter a year ago. This is ironically because they are investing more in movies and content, not because they are buying more tickets, which have been pretty much well under control. Um, despite the gloss by Helios chairman CEO Ted Fartsworth that the executive team is very encouraged by the results. The company's quarterly SEC filing contains a host of unsettling disclosures for investors. Among them, a $39 million write-down due to significant but unspecified decline in subscribers, as well as the disclosure that two more board members have departed. So, that's definitely not encouraging. In the filing, the company blamed the wider losses on the acquisitions of MoviePass, the movie phone assets, which they never should have bought in the first place. I don't know why they bought that thing. And the forming of MoviePass Ventures and MoviePass Films. Because of all the spending, the company reported an accumulated deficit of $377.3 million as of September 30th. It expects to pile up further net losses and significant cash outflows for at least the next 12 months. They're not going to survive 12 months, not under these circumstances. Due to the red ink, Helios added in the filing, management is posing questions about the company's ability to raise additional funding and concedes it could run out of cash within a year. While management will look to continue funding operations by raising additional capital from sources such as sales of the company's debt or equity securities or loans in order to meet operating cash requirements, there is no assurance that management's plans will be successful, the company cautioned. Uh, yeah, that's not very good. Um, movie, movie pass early this year claimed 3 million subscribers, but did not include updated subscribers numbers in its quarterly filing. Well, that's because people are dropping the service. That's, I mean, that's pretty obvious. It touted a decrease in frequency as it converts subscribers to a three movie a month plan. The average monthly use per subscriber fell to 0.77 movies per month in September, down from 2.22 in April. In recent weeks, the company has had to scrap a vote for another reverse stock split, which would prop up the company's share price in order to avoid a devastating delisting by NASDAQ. Additionally, the company is under investigation by New York State Attorney General's Office for allegedly misleading investors 
Its stock has been trading between one and two pennies a share for the past couple of months. NASDAQ rules that require at least one dollar a share or higher. Even as it encountered dramatic ch challenges to its operations, mainly the high burn rate required by the foreign subscription model, which allowed members to see one movie a day for ten dollars a month, which should have always been a promotional thing in my opinion. Um, MoviePass expanded into other areas. It acquired a controller stake in Emmett Furla Films and ramped up the activity of its film finance arm, which it promoted January. The third quarter report offered some of the clearest visibility of the state of those investments, so they are footnotes compared to the larger issues. Helio said the company has invested $6.2 million in production on MoviePass films. Finance on MoviePass Ventures has capital investment in film costs totaling $13.4 million. The breakdown is $2.4 million of investments in rights to completed and released films, and $11 million for completed and partially completed films yet to be released. Um, let's see here. And there's that chart. This is the chart that they've been showing in all the articles with the uh, um, how the usage has gone down. So, as you can see, this was the average amount of movies they saw. Then it dipped a little bit, probably because there weren't as many movies to see here, and because this is when they stop letting you see movie, the same movie multiple times. And it went up again because of summer, and then it just keeps going down. Now, that's good for um, Movie Pass, but it's bad for subscribers, so that base, because they can't use it at that point. They're, it's going down because they don't have movies that they can see with it. So, ironically, I am <laughs> I actually could see three movies this month with it. Uh, Colette Border and um, In Search of Igmar Bergman. So... And if I wanted to, see the front runner as well. But it's at an AMC, so I'm going to use my AMC stubs on that. But I could use it in theory. So anyway, those are the numbers. They're not they're not good as you can see. And MoviePass will probably be out of business within a month if they don't change something. So, and as a chart, but let's see the subscription cart. Yeah, that that I think would also go down. So. Let's go up and see some of these messages that I have kind of been ignoring as I read this. So, um, movie Regal Movie Subscription Service, where are you? Well, I don't think they're going to make one. I don't even think a AMC really cares about the subscription. Look, I I defended like their business model, but the thing is, I do believe that AMC is more interested in killing MoviePass and Cinemia than running their own subscription service. I still believe that. I think they would love to go back to the status quo, and I think if they're the only option out there, and this is what people need to be careful about, don't wish for everything to go away, because you might just get it. If there's no competition for AMC, what's their incentive to keep the subscription service around? They'll just, they'll just you know, cancel it, I think. But uh, Jer Silvera says, the movie that's dead, no, but it's uh, not looking great. Chris Monks, I just canceled Movie Pass today. I've been one of their biggest supporters, often defending them. But of the last nine days, only one day had anything I could actually watch. I'm paying for nothing. And that's unfortunately where a lot of people feel right now. Um, Pamela's Vlog Central have not been to a movie at all this year. Well, then, well, then, obviously, you weren't using Movie Pass anyway. Um, Andrew says, I wish there was another option. Cinema is is playing stupid with their convenient fees, and I don't have an AMC near me. Yeah, well, this is why you want options. This is definitely why you want options. Um, let's see here. Moni said, yes, about a Regal subscription. Been waiting forever, it seems, for new owner Cineworld to do something about that. They had an awesome monthly pass when I was living in London. Yeah, but keep in mind, they have deals with the movie theaters in London to share the concessions and the ticket and to get breaks in the concession ticket prices. That's what MoviePass was trying to do, but, you know, we're stubborn Americans. We did not want a middleman. I mean, a lot of the theaters saying, well, I guess that wasn't sustainable. I guess it's true that they couldn't hold it. Like, no, 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 no. MoviePass did what they said. They brought people into the theaters. Those people bought more snacks. You had pretty much a year to see that that was what was going on. And the movie theaters should have partnered with them at some point. Say, hey, this is working. But they were kind of like, no, you know, why should we partner when, with them when they're already paying the full ticket price and their people are buying the snacks? Now, movie passes and around, sales are down again. They had their chance to do this and they didn't. So, 
Let's see here. Being Air says, I haven't used Movie Pass once this month because it's a terrible choice of movies and terrible show times, and the pass shuts down early at night. They have officially shot themselves in both feet. Well, they're trying to save money. I don't, I mean, I know people like to think that, well, they're going to have a bunch of people canceling and that's, they shot themselves the foot. It's like, yeah, but they, they don't want you using the card. So if you're paying for it and using the card, then they don't want you. Heck, they don't want me. I actually use Movie Pass three times this month. So, and two of those three movies were good. And the third one was, I'm, Still not sure what I feel about Border. Um, let's see here. Andrew says, hopefully Regal releases a subscription service this holiday season. I doubt they will. I mean, if they haven't at this point, then they're not interested. Um, Moni B says, I'm supposed to renew on the 18th, but they charge me on the 17th of the month. I have two movies left this month. Today, they offered one movie with one showtime out of the 12 theaters where I live. Ridic. Yep. Yeah, Ted Fart's worth. Andrew says, there are showtimes appear and then disappear. It's terrible, but I don't have any other options. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel for you. I really do. Like, <laughs> I, Coolio says, I just frame my movie pass card and hang it up right beside my frame blockbuster card. Talking of tech, are you finally dropping? No, no. I got to use it three times this month. Why would I drop movie pass? So, plus, I've gotten the annual plan to like December now. December will reevaluate it. Um, Laval said subscription revenue for three months was 79 million, average 26.5 million months divided by $9.50 each subscriber, then 2.7 million subscribers remain. Oh. Okay. That is still a lot of subscribers. Um, if that math holds up, uh, then, uh, well, there you have it. So, but if that math is that adds up, then I think that means they're also losing 50 cents on each subscriber. So still, still not great for them. Moni said, movie pass should have never changed what they had before. I was a subscriber who paid 30 months for unlimited and was happy with it. Then they go and get greedy. Yeah, they tried to grow too fast, but you know what? They had a lot of, um, a lot of inspiration from companies that spent years upon years losing money and the investors backed them up. Amazon lost money for almost 20 years and the shareholders never questioned it. And apparently that's success. Tesla loses a lot of money. The investors bail them out. Uber loses a billion dollars every three months. They still keep getting infuses of cash from fundraising it's ridiculous how many companies will just get tons and tons of money from investors to keep them afloat even though they have no viable business model it's just movie pass was one they didn't want to support i guess so my frank says my local movie chain showcase just our subscription plan three movies a month for just under 17 dollars, which is like five per movie good sustainable be deal what do you think well if you buy snacks, then it's sustainable for them. Coolio Food said the movie theater acted on bad faith. Movie Pass did what they said they would. Um, Dragon Knight, I worked at movie the. Yep, and I guess Andrew. What? Okay. Um, Chris, no, no disrespect. I don't know why you deleted Andrew's message. There's a uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I really enjoy. Enjoyed it. I wasn't a huge fan of mid '90s though. Um, I liked mid '90s. Did not like a Bohemian Rhapsody. So I'll just uh, leave that at that. So anyway, I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this one. There's not a lot of activity here. I just wanted to read that report. It's not looking good. And yeah, they'll probably be gone next next year. But I'll keep making the videos. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, and if Regal ever releases a card, then be nice or if cinemarks actually works at some point that would also be great so anyway um thanks for joining me thanks for checking it out for all those who are late comment below like favorite share subscribe if you enjoy my videos consider becoming a patreon member it's totally optional but even as those one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and uh for everyone who's watching i'm going to be live streaming in about minutes on my other channel the entrepreneur channel 
Um, that one's probably going to be significantly longer. So, um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys there. Bye.